CataractCoach.com. Why can't I get the nuclear piece up? What's the key to making it easy to bring pieces up out of the capsule bag? Here's the first case. And the key here is, look, the halves have not fully separated. We'll go into chop, place the chopper. It looks pretty good. Separate the two pieces. And it looks like we have two halves. And I try to separate them a little bit more. And I'll try to bring up the first half. And it looks separated. But as I try to bring it up, I just can't. The vacuum grip from the FACO tip, just not enough to bring the piece out of the capture bag. So I'll try again. Let's rotate it around a little bit. Buzz it with the FACO probe again. Let me see if I can sub-chop it. There's another chop. Okay. Now I'll try to bring out a quarter. Not quite yet still. Still haven't succeeded. There. Finally. Nope. And here we thought we'd get that quarter up. And you got to be careful. This nucleus is not that dense. You don't want to buzz through the piece and inadvertently hit the posterior capsule. Rotate it around again. Can I bring up this quarter? Try, try. Oh, yes, finally. So the issue here was the halves were not fully separated after the first chop. And that's because the nucleus is on the softer side. So I had to rotate it around, get a few other chops in, and finally bring up a quarter. And now I can get the other half up out of the capsule bag. We can emulsify. You can see there's not a whole lot of nuclear density. So it, it emulsifies very quickly. We can aspirate it very easily. There's the last little bit of it, chopper in that safe position. We still got the nucleus out in a little bit more than a, a minute. Not too bad. Now let's go back and show you a different case. Here's where the halves will be completely separated, and it'll work much better. So there you go. Rexus has been done. Hydro dissection is done. Here comes a FACO probe. Again, we're going to use FACO chop mode on my machine, which is a flow of 40 cc a minute, vacuum at least 400, 500 millimeters of mercury, and it's buzzing with the FACO probe here to hold the nucleus. And then chopper goes there. And that's fully separate. And that is a complete separation. See how that red reflex kind of leaks through between the two halves? Now I can chop the first half, break a little corner off, chop that first half again. So now I've got the first half split up in about three pieces. Let's just emulsify those down. And this goes a lot smoother. In this case, there's more nuclear density. So when we have that chop, we can propagate it through the entire nucleus and really separate the two halves at the very beginning. And that makes all the difference. Now here's the second half coming up, chopper goes around the equator, and we can chop it again. And another quadrant can be taken down. Again, it goes very smoothly. Now, if you look back at these video clips, the time to remove the nucleus in both of these cases was about the same. So it's not about speed here or efficiency but it's about feeling like we're in control. So this case that you're watching, I'm very much in control. And we're able to remove the nucleus in about the same amount of time, a little bit over a minute, but I felt that throughout the whole procedure, everything went smoothly and there were zero issues and everything worked well the first try. I didn't have to do anything alternative. I didn't have to rotate and try again. So I wanna show you that same clip this is the second case. I'm going to show you the same clip from the beginning. And let me talk you through some of my little pearls here. Teach you how we do this. So there's that little extra aliquot of dispersive viscoelastic to protect that central corner of the thelium. Faker probe is going to go in the eye. Bevel down. I want occlusion. So why not go bevel down? The Faker probe is going to go in that, inside that subincisional rexus. There, aiming towards the optic nerve. Chopper also goes inside the rexus nasally, and we split apart. And I really spent a little time there to make sure I got two halves. The first half immediately brought up. Chopper hooks the equator and can chop it again. We go back in the remaining piece and chop it yet again. And so this is a technique that I really enjoy doing, and everything goes very smoothly here. I'll, I like to take out the first half completely before I attack the second half. Now, some surgeons like to go ahead and chop the whole thing into four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever pieces you want, and then take them out one by one. I prefer it this way. And here's the second half coming up, and again, chopped in half. There it is. And now the chopper is just going to be used to push the pieces to the FACO tip. And then when the last piece is coming up and nothing is weighing down that capsule bag, let's put the chopper there in that safe position to make sure that the bag doesn't come up and invertly touch the FACO tip. Even though our fluidic settings are beautiful and they're very stable, you just don't want to take even a 1% chance. Now here comes a little bit of an epinuclear shell, vacuum only here, bring that thing up, get it out of the eye, it goes great. So remember, if you're having trouble bringing up a nuclear half out of the bag, it's probably because 
the two halves are not completely separated. Every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.